hey guys welcome to the channel uh today um is another video regarding my 2023 ford f-150 xlt um although today we're actually going to be talking about five things about this truck that actually they kind of annoy me a little bit now i am not bashing on this truck in any way shape or form whatsoever i love this truck it, it is a great vehicle i just i love it a lot it's reliable it gets great fuel economy for a pickup truck um but you know it's just every vehicle is going to have those few things that you know kind of annoy you and i'm just going to share my those things that annoy me regarding my truck right here um so yeah with that being said we're just gonna get right into it So the first thing that annoys me about this truck is regarding the remote start feature. So let's just say that, you know, you remote start the vehicle and you realize that, oh, you weren't supposed to start it this early. Let's shut it off and then, you know, like wait another 10 minutes. So basically I'll try and do it real quick. So basically, let's just say that I want to turn it off. It may or may not do that. Um, we'll try it again. Okay, this time it actually worked. But a lot of times what it does is if I realize that I wasn't supposed to start it right away, and then I, re and then I try to restart it again, it won't work. It'll just honk the horn. And that actually happened to me earlier early this morning when I was getting ready to go to work where the vehicle shut off because it ran out of time and because the thing is the 15 minutes was up so and then I was like okay I'll just restart it again because you know here in Michigan it gets really really cold so I like to have it running for a while before I take off to go to work and the thing is um it it wouldn't start back up I literally was like oh my god now I gotta go back out there and and you know turn the ignition on and everything so you know it is i i know it's a first world problem <laughs> um but yeah we're gonna get into the next thing that annoys me about this truck so the second thing that annoys me about this truck is um the tailgate feature so like basically you see the tailgate um basically you click the button in here once and then basically it comes down the rest of the way by itself um it's a great feature you know it's got the hydraulics in it or whatever you want to call it so in that way you know it makes it to where it opens soft and it's got you know the tailgate work surface it's really nice but one thing that really annoys me is if i'm backed into my driveway and um, and let's say that, you know, it, um, that, you know, I'm backed into my driveway and then I'm parked on a downhill slope. So basically, and if I try to open the tailgate, it'll just go like this. Like it'll only, it, it's like it pops open, but then I got to still pull it the rest of the way down. So it's, but right here I'm parked on a level surface, so it works just fine. But the thing is though, is that since it's not really a power tailgate all it does is just it pops open on its own but then you just got to hope that gravity is going to take over the rest of it but since it would be parked on a downhill slope that's not going to happen so in other words the tailgate isn't going to open with just the key fob if you're parked on a downhill slope now that's just for an xlt with a 302a package if you have a lariat or higher that's not going to be an issue because they have a power tailgate and regardless of how much of a downhill slope you're parked on it's always going to open every single time so if it's a lariat you don't have to worry about it but being that this is an xlt that is kind of an issue um but again i know it's just one of those minor little things but we're going to move on to the third thing 
All right, so the third feature that, you know, kind of annoys me about this truck. Now, I mean, I have gotten used to it a lot, but it's mainly when this truck was new to me that, you know, I had to learn to get used to it is, so, you know, when you want to adjust the, um, you know, the airflow of like where the air blows and stuff on the climate controls, you know, you push this button and then it pulls up a little menu of like, where you want the air to blow and everything. Um, so, I mean, cause the thing is normally, a normal car will usually have, you know, a button like this, but where, you know, you push it and then it changes the direction for you. But the fact that, you know, it pulls this up instead and then where you have to like click everything. I mean, that it just kind of annoys me a little bit, you know, especially when you're, you know, out driving, you know, cause the fact that you really, you kind of got to take your eye off the road for a second to, you know change that and it's just you know just one of those little things that you know kind of annoys me but again like i said this video it's not to bash on this truck or anything i i love this truck it, it's just to point out those things because maybe some of you guys are shopping for a vehicle like this and you know this is just something to you know be mindful about you know because like i'm just trying to be honest about it but we're gonna move on to feature number four of it it's kind of annoying. All right, so the fourth thing that actually annoys me about this truck is um, the throttle response. So, no, so under normal driving conditions, you know, everything works just fine. But, you know, if, if I'm at a yield sign or something, so like meaning, because, you know, when you're at a yield sign, it means you can roll through you can make a rolling stop as long as nobody's coming. And when that's the case, a lot of times, you know, since it, it would still be in third gear, I mean, I have the truck off right now. So, and I can't demonstrate this because I'm not out driving. I'm in a parking spot to make this video, but right here where it shows the gears, you know, it'll say third gear while I'm, you know, roll making that rolling stop through a yield sign. And when I get, try to go again, um, it, you know, the throttle, like it lags a little bit, you know, like it's like I'm, I'm, I have my foot on the gas for like three seconds and it, you know, it takes forever to get going again. Like, I mean, it doesn't do it all the time, but sometimes it does it and it just really frustrates me. And the same thing happens in my mom's truck as well. So I'm pretty sure in most F 150s, it'll, the, in, as far as like the ones that have the 10 speed transmission, it'll do it. So again, just one of those things to be mindful of, but. Like I said, I'm just trying to point this stuff out so that way, you know, you guys all know about this. But we're going to move on to the last thing, which um, is probably only an issue that, you know, it's probably not that big of a deal. I probably just need to get it fixed, but we're just going to, I'll explain all about it. All right, so the last thing that uh, kind of annoys me about this truck is... Now, like I said, I probably, it's probably just something that, you know, I, if I get it fixed, it probably won't be that big of a deal. But so this thing, since it's an XLT 302A with the Ford Copilot 360 Assist 2.0 package, mine has front parking sensors. But this particular one right here, um, I know it's that one because when, whenever one of the sensors are going off, on the touch screen when it shows the 360 camera it shows you specifically what sensor is beeping so i know it's that one right there um but my issue is is that you know let's just say that i'm at a drive through line or something and you know it and whenever i'm turning a lot of times that sensor will actually go off even though i'm not close to anything whatsoever and you know, it pulls up the 360 camera and I look at it and I'm like, oh, well, I'm not close to anything at all. Why is it doing that? So I've come to realize that, you know, it's, it's just going off every now and then. And now you can turn the sensors off, but it's just, you know, sometimes I just forget about it because I never really think about it. The fact that, oh, it's going to do that. So it's like, I never think about turning them off. Plus I really don't want to turn them off because, you know, they are a they are great parking sensors. Like it's a great feature to have for safety and stuff. I mean, I'm not saying that I rely on them, but you know, it's just an extra level of safety that, 
you know, I, I you know, I like them a lot, but it just kind of annoys me that that particular one, you know, is malfunctioning. But I mean, you know, like I said, at the end of the day, this truck is so awesome. I love it a lot. And I know I've said this numerous times. This isn't about me bashing on the truck or anything. It's not about all, all oh, this is a crappy vehicle and stuff like that. No, it's, it's nothing like that. It's just me pointing out all the things that, you know, I get annoyed by just so in that way, you know, you guys will know this in case if you're shopping for a vehicle like this, at least now, you know, the things that are, you know, the minor, you know, first world problems that these vehicles can potentially bring to you. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Um, you know what to do. Give it a like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.